Hey guys, Zephonix here, and I was actually hanging out on the Xbox 360, and I found out that there's actually an IGN app that's actually on this system. Apparently it just came out, I had no idea it was actually out, so let's go ahead and check it out and see what it's all about. Xbox. Apps. IGN. So we're going to go ahead and walk through the application here to find out exactly what it's all about and things of that nature. As you see right there, the logo, logo of the IGN sitting there bright and proud, including the new emblem. Actually, the new emblem is actually not that bad at all. So, I mean, if you actually have seen an actual um, app on the Xbox 360, then you automatically know what it is. So basically if you go here start from the beginning you have the um, search where you can go ahead and search for a couple of things now for the record I've actually searched for some things already here and you can't find PlayStation games for example here we go <laughs> Apparently, I was mistaken. <laughs> you can't find PlayStation games. So, this is actually interesting. Some things that you can actually find, some things you can't, apparently. I tried doing search for before and it didn't show up. So, all of a sudden, now it shows up. So, you can actually search for PlayStation and um, Xbox games here. So, let's go ahead and try to find some Nintendo games since we're here. Who else? I think what happened was the last time I only searched for like. um. Okay, so I think what happened was is that um, it doesn't search for it. Like if it's like actually directly connected to it, it won't actually find it. So if I'm if I'm able to guess, I'm guessing that um, this might not be. Let's find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a video here. Ah, see, it's a it's like a um kind of like an interview kind of thing. Let's check this one. another interview okay so what's going on is that you can't actually find the actual games or gameplay per se but you can find interviews about um, different games of course leave it, if it's an Xbox game of course you're gonna find it so that's one thing so that's the search feature let's go to the feature feature where it basically has um well features you'll see the um, you know um, IGN's daily fix um, IGN live You'll see a couple of games that's on the left-hand side, such as Crisis 3 that might be out, and IGN Strategist is now located on this particular app instead of actually in the video store or wherever it was. Um, clicking on um, this app, so you got a couple of things here, and like I said before, you're going to see a couple of things that's not actually. Ooh, I want that um, toy. Anyway, you're going to see things that's not actually Xbox here. But you know, whatever, it's whatever. IGN Fix is not always about Xbox. It's usually about all the systems. Um, Diablo Three, same thing. So while they're not giving you, apparently, you know, Microsoft tried to go ahead and filter it, and I think they realized that they can't filter it 100%. But I'm pretty sure they did their best. Um, IGN Live. Let's see what that's about. Okay, so different live events that may or may not be coming. So there you see, I got the upcoming events. Apparently, uh, well, that's not really upcoming if it's um November twenty second, two thousand eleven. Now is it? Ooh, date fail. <laughs> hey, is that Fiona Flowers down there? Anyway, um. No, it's apparently the same exact thing as past events and upcoming events, which probably means it got no upcoming events at this particular time. Anyway, so let's keep going here. You got the previews here, previews of different games that's coming out, Hybrid, Spec Docs, um, Devil May Cry, Aliens Marines, Rock Band Blitz, which I actually haven't really seen, and then Sega All-Star Racing. I'm guessing it's Sega All-Star Racing Transformed. Yeah, there you go. The new um, game is coming out here. So all you got to do is pretty much click on it, give it a second. Video blah blah blah. Yes, we know. Basically, it's just saying, hey, you know, everyone can see it. And of course, have an advertisement because, you know, that's what Microsoft is about advertising. So they want to get paid. You know, it's true. <laughs> um, so you got reviews here, things of that nature, um, view all. And then you also have guides here. So you have different guides that you can actually follow, such as uh, apparently there's a love scene about an um, elf girl. I never even knew about, but there you go. Um, 
you get a free horse, things of that nature, how to get married and sky, you know, so it's got, it's got pretty much a good amount of things here. It's like almost like a one percent, like a huge guide right here, which is awesome. Um, then you have shows, and this kind of made me laugh. This is before I found out the search engine. You actually have PlayStation Conversation here, which had me dying, you know. Um, you got the Rewind Theater, which is actually one of my favorites. Let's see what they got in the Rewind Theater. I actually love the Rewind Theater. Um, okay, they got one of um, Walking Dead, which, by the way, is a great game. Let's see what other um, episodic adventures they have here. Okay, not going to wait for you. So let's keep going. Um, like I said, there's Hype, Daily Fix, PlayStation Conversation. And then you also have, you guys, excuse me, you have the ability to view all. So if there's any other ones that's here too, apparently there is, you know. Boss Breakdown, IGN on a Download, Free That, you know, things of that nature. Um, so overall, how do I judge this? Sorry, it was a half naked woman you know I'm gonna watch it anyway so um how do I rate this well it's kinda of funny really I'm um that Microsoft did their best and they really did they did their best to go ahead and try to um block the PlayStation games however that's not gonna work I mean same thing with I um uh, with the Wii U eventually you know when the Wii U especially during E3 there's a lot of things that's gonna sneak in here you know you're gonna see a lot of things that is actually PlayStation that's gonna sneak in here you know whether it's um it's not gonna be a lot obviously it's gonna be like you know um, interviews and things of that nature, but you're going to find it here. You're definitely going to find it here, um, despite what Microsoft tries to do. Overall, my thoughts about it, like I said before, now here actually, isn't Tribes? I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've actually played Tribes. I believe Tribes is a PC game, isn't it? Or is it a... Um, I thought it was a PC game. I could be wrong, but... Currently active uh, for this platform. Okay, yeah. So it is a PC game. Okay. So in other words, like I said, really good. Um, it's really good. You know, and kind of have all your IGN videos and things of that nature. If you're an IGN fan, actually on your Xbox 360, you know, without having to kind of um, go through the browser or anything like that. Anyway, so that's my review. Um, let me know what you guys think about the new IGN app for the Xbox 360. You have a good night. Zeph out.